Welcome back to Felicity's Driver Training. I'm Fliss, AKA the Trailer Lady, and I've got Andy helping me today as a driver. So in this video, what I'd like to do is show you how you level a motorhome. Now, don't ever think your motorhome needs to be perfectly level. There is this myth that fridges will not work unless they are perfectly level. They have all got a, a, a certain amount of tolerance. Um, granted old, older fridges older motorhomes they might need to be more level but something modern like this and it will easily cope with quarter to half a bubble out on a spirit level and it would still work okay but if you are sleeping with your head higher than your feet or your feet higher than your head sorry then you need to use your leveling ramps so we use the Malenko triples I'm not sponsored by Malenko, by the way. I wish I was, but I'm not. But we use the triples. Now, the reason we use the triples is because on our 4.25 tonne motorhome, we've got the larger wheels. And we find that they sit in the levels better than the Quattro, which Malenko also do. The Quattro has got a smaller cradle for each tire. So we find that these do the job. There are others on the market, don't get me wrong, but what you want is something that's got a step in it so that as you're trying to drive up it, you can feel the van coming up the steps. If you've just got a smooth ramp, you won't know where you are until you've fallen off the top of it, okay? So, when you're leveling a motorhome, you always want to level two wheels at a time. So you're either leveling both fronts, and both rears, or both rights, both lefts, okay? but always do two, because if you don't, if you only ever level one corner, you risk twisting the chassis underneath, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how to do it now. So the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna do two. The first one we're gonna do is a straightforward, we just need to bring the front of the van up so that we're level, so that we're not sleeping with the blood rushing to our heads, okay? So, you take the ramp and you put it underneath the wheel when it's placed, make sure it's nice and straight. Give it a bit of a kick. You want to wedge that underneath there, okay? Same on the other side. Because of the surface we're on, there's a chance that this could slip, you see? Okay, right, so now what I want is Andy to drive up the ramp, so up the levelling ramp. So what we do is we always come to the very top of the levelling ramp and then reverse back down until we're level. It's much easier than trying to balance your clutch and your gas, or if you're on an automatic, the engine's struggling whilst you're trying to creep up the ramps. It's much easier to come to the top and go back down to the level you want. Okay then, Andy. Nice and steady. So that's Andy right at the top now. But what we've done is we've actually brought it up too high. It's too much. So he's very carefully going to come down, probably to the middle one, Andy, please. So nice and slowly then, Andy, back down to the middle level. Come down one. Stop there. Okay, so what's going to happen is the van was creaking, the van was moaning, it was not happy, but you need to have the brake on, you need to keep that under control. Now, Andy's got his foot on the foot brake and the handbrake on for safety. You need a set of chocks now to put behind the wheels that you've not levelled. So this is the back for us. And I'm just going to come round the other side. So he's still got the brakes on, which is lovely. We're going to use the chock in there, OK? So now what's going to happen is when Andy comes off the brake, you'll you're going to see on the tyre minimal movement now and we are level. So you can release the brake now, Andy. There we go. The handbrake will only hold so much, so it's always going to rock a little bit. So by using the chocks, you're just protecting it. Now, once your chocks are in, if you wanted to, you could actually take the handbrake off a couple of clicks because it's not going anywhere. It's perfectly wedged on the chocks and up on the levelling ramps. So I did promise you that I'd show you two methods for levelling your motorhome. Now you may find that you need to bring the front of the van up, 
but you also need to raise one side more than the other, okay? And you can use your leveling ramps to achieve this. All you need to do is stagger them. So, this pitch was perfectly level, so do excuse us, because we're gonna make the motorhome worse than it was. But this is just for effect. So the first ramp, the, the ramp, the side of the van you need to raise the most, you put the ramp all the way under the wheel. Like that. Then the ramp that doesn't need, or the side that doesn't need as much leveling, you stagger it. So you're leaving that further away from the wheel so that you can raise this less than the other side. So now Andy can come up. Now I'm going to give him a little bit of a hand because he's going to lose sense of where he is. I'm happy with that. Okay, so what we've done is we've come up this one almost onto level three, but on the other side, we're only just off of level one. So what we've done is we've brought the front of the van up and we've raised this side more than the other side. And hopefully that means that the glass of wine or your cup of tea is not gonna roll off your table inside. So if that was useful to you, please like it, please subscribe. And if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Thanks then.